Hello Knights fans, back with this week's edition of the FDU Men's Basketball Report, joined by another special guest. We had senior captain Darnell Ledge last week. Now we bring on fellow senior captain Mike Holloway Jr. Mike, how's it going today? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. Uh, last two games, you're up against tough teams on the road, UMass, South Florida. Let's first talk on UMass. I know you played against your brother. Uh, what was that experience like for you? That experience was unforgettable. That's one word I could say defined that night. That, that game was just unforgettable. Like just seeing him warm up on the other side of the court, it was very different for me. And matching up against him one on one was humongous. That's all I can say about that. But it was a fun matchup, and I wish I could do it again. Yeah, humongous is the word. Two big guys going at it in the post. And those are some hard fouls there. Both those games, though, were right there in the grass. Final minute there, you had a tie game. You had a chance to take the lead. Uh, what can you take away? I know those games really hurt. You guys leave it all out on the floor and come up just a little bit short in the end. But can you take away some positives from those two games? We played great defense for about, what, 37 minutes? And then we just let up a little bit in that second half. And that, that broke us. We just got to learn how to finish the job as a young team. We are young guys and mixing in with a lot of our veterans. We got to be able to finish games. And now, lastly here, you're getting ready for the long trip out to Western PA for Robert Morris and St. Francis. Uh, as you prepare for your final go-around in the NEC here as a senior, uh, what are you looking at and what are you looking towards as you gear up for conference play? I mean, there's one goal, and that's the NEC championship. I'm looking to go dancing one last time, twice in my four years that no one's done in this program. Me and Darnell will be the first two to do it, and that's all I'm looking forward to doing with me and my team. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you're picked second in the conference. You've got to see a little bit uh, of, I mean, you know these teams so well. You've seen how they've played here in the non-conference slate, but uh, you feel like your team and uh, yourself are ready for conference. I think we're ready. I think, I mean, of course, we got everybody has things to work on. It's early. You don't want to get too high right now, but I think we're ready we're going into Robert Morris and looking for a win. Great. All right. I know we did this with Darnell last time. Uh, I see Elijah Williams here off camera. He made a cameo last time. It's only fair we bring him back in, I hey, guess. I'm Elijah, any thoughts? Man, they just had to bring me back one time, man. All I had to tell you is, y'all know what time it is, man. Playoffs. Here we come. We ready. Conference play. It's ring season. Let's get this money. As always, excited Elijah Williams to be uh, to be joining us here on the show. So like we did last time, let's go through some of your favorite things. Uh, first off, what's your favorite food? Fried chicken. Nice. Any specific place you like it? Uh, not really, but there is specific type. I like crispy chicken. I don't like the greasy. Uh, I like crispy and, and that crunch. I need that crunch on the uh, skin. All right, I like that. I like that. Yeah, the skin, uh, not the healthiest part, but yeah. definitely the tastiest part. Uh, let's go with uh, who's your favorite NBA player? Favorite player, current or? It could be both. Give me a current and uh, an, an older guy. Current, I got to go with Aldridge. Older guy, I got to go with my man, the Diesel Shaq. Wow, LaMarcus Aldridge. That's a good one. I like that. Uh, what's your favorite spot on the floor to shoot from? I know Aldrich is a top of the key kind of guy. I'm an elbow guy. If I'm shooting the ball, I'll try to get elbow and up or high, like a high post area. That's where I like to shoot the ball from. All right. What's your favorite subject here at Fairleigh Dickens in the study? Probably have to say English because right? I'm not into reading. So that's what's something I want to improve myself personally. So I try to look forward into English and reading more and get into more books and stuff like that. Very definitely valuable. Uh, Kind of throw you a curveball here. What are you looking to do? Obviously, you're gonna after you graduate. Uh, if basketball, if you couldn't play basketball, which direction would you like to go? Believe it or not, I always wanted to be a chef. I always, my mom was a big cooking every Sunday. Woman, every every meal except for uh, two days a week, she would cook, and I was always in the kitchen with her. And I just love cooking, so I, I would I would try to get into some cooking shows or like culinary arts school or something like that. All right, I like that. What's your uh, what's your best dish if you had to cook one? Uh, but pork chops. I can fry a mean pork chop. Wow. Uh, family dish. They always designate me when it's time for pork chops. They like, oh, they call me Mike Mike at my home. They be like, Mike Mike, you got to fry the pork chops. They don't even want my own mom to do it. They'd rather me do it. Wow, that's great. Pork chops. Do you do like a side, like applesauce? What's the, what's the complimentary uh, sauce or flavor you go with pork chops? Chef never gives away a secret ingredient. Uh, I like that. I like that. Well, good luck this weekend, Mike. Thank you. So Mike and the Knights will travel out to Pennsylvania for the long trip. It's two, a pair of 7 p.m. starts. First up is Thursday, January 3rd against Robert Morris. Two days later, they'll head out to Loretto for a rematch of last year's NEC quarterfinal matchup against the Red Flash of St. Francis. As always, for all information about the FDU men's basketball team, head back to FDUnites.com.